so in this video we will fix the issue which was with the animation when the player is reloading we don't want the player to move so for fixing that open up the handgun script right here in the reload as you know that now we have the separate player speed player sprint variables so now when the player is reloading we don't want the player speed okay so we will name the player speed 0f after this we will name the player sprint speed as 0f as well after this when the player is done reloading what we will do we will make the player speed back to normal which is 1.1 and the sprint is 5 so 1.1 and then 5 so this will simply fix the issue save the script get back to unity okay now we have everything set up let's play the game now you will notice that when we fire okay now as you can see the player is not moving okay and now when the player is done reloading now the player can move again as you can see now if we try to shoot again okay the player is reloading we can't move as you can see and when we are done reloading now we can walk again okay so now this issue is being fixed now the next issue is that when we try to move and shoot as you can see the player is not playing the animation okay so we want to fix that as well in order to fix that what we will do is that when the player is moving we will disable the shooting and when the player stops or stop moving then we will enable the shooting ability again so that will basically fix this issue let's go ahead at the top right here in the rifle things let's create a public bool by the name of is moving and also let's open up the handgun 2 script as well because we need to do the same on that script as well so let's open that up handgun 2 right here let's first of all come here and in the player move function we need to do everything right here but first of all let's click on the handgun 2 script and let's create that pool right here as well is moving now let's get back to right here and at the top before this is moving we need a reference to our handgun 2 script so we will say handgun 2 and let's name this as handgun 2 okay because we need a reference to the script and then to this is moving pool okay now we have a reference to both of this is move is moving okay now if we get back to the player move right here after this jump range what we will do we will first of all say is moving equals to true because the play when the player is moving we will set this to true and also the handgun 2 is moving bool as well so we will say handgun 2 dot is moving is equals to true let's copy this and let's get down right here now when the player is not moving we will set this to false that's it after this let's get inside the sprint and let's paste that right here then down below as well and simply make this false and the other one as well false so now when the player is moving and sprinting we will set that true and when not sprinting and moving we will set this to false okay now right here we will add a if condition and inside this if we will say that if the is moving is equals to false okay it means that if the player is not moving then we will allow the player to shoot okay so just simply add that inside this curly brackets of this main if condition 
so now if the player is moving is not moving then we will make the player to shoot that is it now let's save this get back to unity click on player and actually go inside the player click on handgun it need a reference to the handgun too so the other handgun is in the left shoulder so let's try and drop that in here it will automatically select the script from here okay and let me check everything else are done let's minimize that let's play the game and now you will see that when we are moving as you know that we can't shoot we are just shooting on that gun and let's check it why is that happening if you see the script right here we added this if condition on this handgun and we forgot to do the same for the handgun too so for the handgun too let's add this condition right here as well so we will say that if is moving okay this is moving is the same bool right here as well okay you can change the name if you want but i will leave this as it is okay so if the player is not moving then we will allow the player to shoot if the player is moving we will not allow the player to shoot that is it let's save this now and now if we try to play the game we will see everything will be working perfectly fine okay so here is the player let's try to move and let's try to shoot as you can see the player is not shooting as you can see not in the aiming and not without the aiming now if we, if we stop the player and then shoot as you can see now the player is shooting again okay and when we are reloading the player can't move as well so now as you can see all of the animations are working perfectly fine okay we don't have any, any animation issue now okay and there is a problem with my mouse right button so that's why there is some issue when i try to aim okay i think the mouse button is loose or whatever happened to it but now the animations are working perfectly fine let's check it out in the full view okay as you can see it looks really beautiful like this okay we can shoot wherever we want so now with all of our animations completed for the handgun now we are ready to add the other rifles as well so for that catch you guys in the upcoming videos